So in the early 2000s, we started a conversation at FITS talking about how we could do multidisciplinary research and pool our resources both in terms of equipment and data to advance biomedical research. It was only in 2008 that Sidney Brenner gave his name to our institute. So my dad, Sidney Brenner, was first and foremost a scientist who's probably best known for winning the Nobel Prize. My father, he always wanted to give young scientists a chance that they might otherwise not get. And he was very, very happy to be asked to lend his name to the Sidney Brenner Institute. And thus, the Sidney Brenner Institute for Molecular Bioscience was born. In essence, our research here at the Sydney Brenner Institute is about genetic variation amongst African populations. The second part of our research is really about understanding the impact of genetic variation on health and disease. At Sydney Brenner, we are focusing on precision medicine, which is a recognition that one treatment fits all is not the right approach to medicine, but individualizing it based on a person's genomic makeup. So precision medicine is particularly important for people of African ancestry. Africa has attracted many world populations and the treatment of those patients cannot be just taken as a general approach, but be defined and presented in a precise manner to take into account the current diversity. And so we believe our solutions from uh, Sidney Brenner will also assist in the treatment of Africans in the diaspora. In modern science today, the ability to analyze big data is essential. So by big data, we mean data that is large in size, but also data of different types, and that is complex. Over the last 10 years, we have invested a lot of time and money into developing a computational resource, as well as developing the human expertise that is required to do these analyses. I think the last 10 years, the Sydney Brenner Institute for Molecular Bioscience has made a tremendous impact on African science. And that's illustrated by the knowledge that we've produced, by the papers that have come out. And I think it's also witnessed by the high caliber of postgraduate students and postdoctoral fellows that have come out of, out of the SBIMB. So I first came to know about the SBIMB in 2018 through H3A Bayonet. I really liked the bioinformatics research that was going on at the Institute. So I think it's exciting to have an Africa-based center of excellence for bioinformatics, which is promoting uh, research capacity in Africa. I love the fact that Sydney Brenner is so diverse in the people that we have, particularly from Africa, because it speaks to what we do as an institute, which is developing African scientists for African genetics. So the wealth of data and samples that we collect put us in an excellent position for international collaborations. So we work with groups across the world, including the Human Heredity and Health in Africa Consortium and the 100,000 plus cohorts consortium. It is important to me that our research has impact both now and in the future. And that is the reason that we collect data and biospecimens that can be used in the future by other researchers as well. In order to preserve our valuable DNA samples, we established the Biobank so that we can store DNA and other samples indefinitely. Currently, we store over 28,000 DNA samples in our freezer, but we have the capacity to store over 200,000. We safeguard these DNA samples so that in the future, maybe 20, maybe 50 years time, Researchers can use new technologies to better understand the genomics, but by using these high quality and ready to use DNA samples. We want to make a difference. We want to make a difference to the lives of young scientists so that they can be prepared for stellar careers on the international stage in the fields of genomics and bioinformatics. We would like to make a difference to the people on the African continent so that they are not left behind in the era of genomic medicine. 
my dad would be very pleased to know that his charitable trust is working in conjunction with WITS and the Sydney Brenner Institute to give young African scientists from all over the continent a chance to research things that interest them that are relevant to Africa.